Hello, I'm Adrian James. I'm president of the Royal College of Psychiatrists, and I'm also a practicing psychiatrist. I work as a forensic psychiatrist down in Devon. And a real concern for the Royal College at the moment, in fact, over the last decade, is the number of patients who are in out-of-area placements. Now, what is an out-of-area placement? It means that when you have a patient who is really acutely unwell and needs to be in hospital, that they can't be admitted to their local service and they're sent to either a neighbouring service or sometimes to a service hundreds of miles away. This is not about people receiving super specialist care, it's about patients who just require a bed in hospital because of the ac acuity of their mental illness and maybe a risk to themselves or to others. Now this is a really serious issue and particularly for the patients themselves it can be very distressing if you are uh, hoping to be admitted to a local service and then suddenly the first part of your care is you're in an ambulance being driven hundreds of miles away. It also cuts you off from your friends and family and they are really important for a patient's recovery and it also cuts you off from your local community services who will try to find a care pathway out of your inpatient care. And we know that what happens as a result of this is that people are in these out of area placements for longer and that they're, they're more expensive than local services. So it doesn't really work for anybody. It doesn't work for patients, it doesn't work for um, carers, it doesn't work for teams either. And it doesn't work financially for the NHS. Now, this is a really complex problem. If it wasn't a complex problem, somebody would have sorted it because I don't think anybody wants these to, to happen. And so the solutions are also very complex. We do need to make sure that we continue in, to invest in community services. Nobody really wants to be in hospital. So if you can have the care provided at home or in another sort of facility, uh, uh, an alternative to admission facility where you get extra help and support, that's much better for you. So we, we can't disinvest from community services to invest in inpatient services. But in some areas, we do feel that some extra beds are needed. Now, people have been saying for years, we'll sort this problem. And the, the NHS and the government had a target to eliminate out-of-area placements by March 2021. Now, that is now more than a year has passed since that, uh, that target, that was their target. And to be honest, we haven't really moved very far. And so these are hundreds of patients who are way away from their local area. And we really must do something about this. It's totally unacceptable. I don't think that this would happen if you, if you had a, a heart problem. So if you had a heart attack, you went to your local hospital, if you were fairly routinely sent hundreds of miles, that would not be allowed to happen. And it shouldn't be allowed to happen for people with a mental illness. We need to sort this and we need to sort it now.